Hello and welcome to Arex Fly Tying. My name is Håkan and today we're going to tie a caddis fly. We're going to do a quite simple imitation of October caddis. It contains only two materials, CDC feathers and elk hair. The hook we're using is our Freshwater 503, the dry fly light. This is the barbless one. And the size of this is size 12. We set the thread. And the body, uh, I use using CDC feathers. <coughs> I'm using this uh, feather prepper to pull down the feather because I only want to use the fibers. And then I take clamp and then we just cut off the stem so we only have the fibers so all I need to do is uh, loop the thread and a dubbing twister and catch the fibers Now we just spin the dubbing twister. And for this fly, I sort of dub the fibers onto the twisted dubbing loop like this. And then we just wind the fibers, make a body. And this CDC fibers will help the fly float. If you add some float tent to the fly, this fly will be almost unsinkable. And then just tie it. The body will become more buggy as, as the more you fish the fly. And if you want, you can just take Velcro or brush to brush it up. And the wing is made of elk hair, natural. Now we care. I've just stacked a small bunch of elk hair. It's a bit too many hair. So I need to pull some away. And then we just make sure it's a bit longer than the hook and just tie it in. Trim off the root ends. And cover with the thread. Try to tie down the hair so they don't flare out too much. And then we do the same as we did with the body. See the sea feathers. So I do a thread loop. And we take another CDC feather and set it to the feather prepper. Cut off the stem. And then we open thread loop. Set the fibers. And I cut off some of the tips of, of the CDC fibers because I don't want them to stand out too much. But this time I don't dub the thread, I just spin it around so we get sort of a CDC brush. And we just tie it in and cut. And now we just make a whip finish. And there you have very simple but 
very buoyant and effective caddis fly. And of course you can, you can vary the colors and the, the size of this fly to make it imitate other caddis flies. But this is the October caddis.